What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So according to Apple, 50% of all new Mac sales are actually coming from brand new Mac users, so people that haven't used Macs before. I'm assuming that these people are using Windows machines or Chromebooks and now they're buying Macs. And of course, when you buy a Mac, you kind of have to learn Mac OS because it is a bit different than Windows. I personally went through the same transition about five years ago and I can tell you that um, Windows does certain things better than macOS, but also macOS does certain things better than Windows. So there is a bit of compromising um, when switching to a new operating system. So in today's video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make your transition to macOS um, easier and better. Now if you've been using a Mac for a while you're probably going to know some of these but there are some that you may not um, know as well. And with that being said, let's start with the first one. A portion of this video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. All right, so the first one is probably one of the most popular ones, and this one has to do with screenshots and screen recordings, because we all need to take screenshots every now and then. So how do you take a screenshot on the Mac? Well, you'd press Command Shift 3 on your keyboard, and as soon as you do that, you're going to take a screenshot of the entire screen. You can see that at the bottom right corner, and if you close it, it will be saved right here on your desktop. How do you take a screenshot of um, a portion of the screen? Well, for that you do Command Shift 4. And like this you can select only a portion of the screen. While you're doing this, if you actually press the space bar, you can move this around on the screen. As soon as you let go of the space bar, you're not going to be able to move it anymore. Um, you can just resize it. So when you're happy with your selection, you'd let go. And once again, you're going to see it at the bottom of the screen here. And if you want to open it, you can open it, of course. You can also do screen captures. And to do that, you'd press Command Shift 5. Now, we are already recording the screen, so I'm not going to be able to show you how this works. But here you have options to capture the entire screen or just a portion of the screen. And as I said, we are already recording this, so I'm going to close this. Now, another one that's not that popular but could come in um, handy would be if you hold the Control shift command 4 and then you can take um, another um, selection of a screenshot, basically. So let's select this portion here. But you're going to notice that with this one, it's not being saved on the desktop. So this is actually being saved um, in your clipboard. So if you're writing a paper or doing a project or something, then you can go in your project, go command V and you can paste that um, screenshot right in there. So this one could come in handy. So for new users, um, taking screenshots is definitely, definitely important. My next tip has to do with picture in picture. And for this, I'm actually using Safari, even though I've heard that Chrome has um, an extension that makes this possible. But personally, I've only used this with Safari and with YouTube. There are other services that work with this, but not all of them, at least not the easiest um, way. So when you have YouTube open um, in the browser in Safari here, you right click on the mouse twice. So something like this. And then you enter um, enter picture in picture. So to show you that um, once again, you basically double um, right click on the video and then um, the video will show up um, here. You can also make this smaller or bigger and you can move it anywhere on the screen. So I can have it here and I can keep working on um, whatever I was working. So this could come in handy in a few situations. My next tip has to do with quick app switching because we all use a variety of apps constantly so you definitely don't want to start closing every single one of them to get to the one that you want. So to quickly see what apps you have open, you'd press command tab and then you can see all the applications that you have open. If you keep pressing the tab button, you can switch in between the ones that you want. So let's say we want to bring the photos app. I just let go of the buttons and I see this one right on the screen. So command tab, once again, I can switch to Safari quickly. Let go and Safari will be the first one. You can also use a split view. So let's say that you want to have Safari in um, on half of the screen. So to do this, you'd basically hover your mouse over the green button there and select title window to the left of the screen. So you're going to see it on the left of the screen. And then on the right of the screen, you can select any other one. So let's say that I want the Photos app um, here. So you can also resize this. So you can make it smaller or bigger. Unfortunately, you cannot use more than two apps um, at the same time. But I think that even with two apps, um, that's pretty decent. 
Next we are moving on to today's video sponsor which is Clean My Mac X. Even though this is a paid application, this can come in super handy for any Mac users out there. The new Clean My Mac X has a bunch of new features like the Smart Scan. Whenever you run the Smart Scan, the app will look for any junk files on your computer and of course allow you to delete those files. We'll also check for any potential threats and show you how you can speed up the computer. We also have a malware removal tool, so obviously that will remove any malware from your computer. We have a privacy tool that allows you to remove the browsing history and chat data from your computer. We have an uninstaller tool that allows you to uninstall any application available on your Mac. So much easier than actually opening the finder looking for that app and its um, files. And we also have an updater app. So the updater app, you can basically update any application that um, you haven't installed from the app store. So makes it much easier than actually going to each app and looking for um, updates. And these are just a few of the features offered by um, the brand new Clean My Mac X. For more information, definitely check out their website and um, of course there will be a link in the video's um, description. Not to mention they have a 30% off sale starting today on the 26th of December. Alright, so let's move on to the next um, macOS tip. My next tip has to do the spotlight search. You're gonna find that on your Mac in the top right corner. You can see it right here. So if you click on it, you can search for any file on your computer. So let's say that I wanna search for Red Skull. So you can see all the files on your computer called um, that. Now you can also use this um, for math. So let's say four plus four divided by two. So you can already see the result there. You can also use this as a currency exchange. So let's say that I have, uh, I don't know, 120 USD to Canadian dollars. So you can see the result um, right there um, once again. And of course you can use this for um, a bunch of other things. So for example, 20 Fahrenheit, that's um, minus 6.67 Celsius. So the spotlight search could come in handy so you don't actually have to open the browser, open Google and so on. My next tip has to do the new widgets and control center available for macOS Big Sur, so the latest um, version of macOS. So to access all the widgets and notifications for that matter, um, you'd press the top right corner and you can see all the widgets um, right here. These widgets can also be edited, so if you press edit widgets at the bottom here, you can select what widgets um, you want. So let's select the weather on, for example. You can select the size, so let's select large, for example, and then you can just um, drag and drop it somewhere here. And of course, I can delete the older um, one. And as you can probably see, these widgets look very identical to the widgets that you would find um, on um, iOS. So very, very similar. Apple is trying to make iOS and macOS um, look very similar. So that's um, about um, it for widgets. Of course, um, if um, you do get notifications, you're also going to see notifications here. I haven't got any notifications in a while, so I can't really show you any. We also have a new control center. So if you click on this icon, the top right corner here, you can easily see your um, Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, AirDrop, etc. Now, one thing that you can also do is drag and drop any of these at the top there. So let's say I want to select the Bluetooth um, settings. So I can just drag that and drop it at the top there. And now I can access all the Bluetooth um, settings right by clicking that. If you want to get rid of that, um, you basically hold this pressed for a second and drag it um, down a bit. So very simple to do. And it um, works the same for all of this. So it's much easier now to actually control all the settings instead of going to settings um, here as you'd normally do and look for um, whatever you need. My next quick tip has to do with seamless AirPod switching in between devices. So we are currently using the AirPods Pro to watch this video on the Mac Mini. Now, if I pause this video and I pick up my iPhone, the AirPods will actually switch to my iPhone without me actually having to do anything. So just as a quick demonstration, if we pause this, I'm going to pick up my iPhone, I'm going to unlock it, and um, you're going to see that uh, the AirPods got disconnected from the Mac Mini and now they are connected to my iPhone. So if I do the same once again, if I lock my iPhone and I start watching something on the Mac Mini, the AirPods will connect to the Mac Mini by themselves. So something very useful if you have the AirPods and of course an iPhone and a Mac. And I guess that's all I have for you today. Um, hopefully it was useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.